numerous sand beaches such as that of Burri, Abrost, Arremela and Al Beladia, opposite Tuti Island. Khartoum has a promising environmental and touristic constitution, represented in the natural proctorate of Sunnut Forest with an area of about 1,500 hectares on the eastern bank of the White Nile. Next to the Nile's meeting point, there are the traditional trades and handicrafts, such as ornamental trades, pottery, and sailing boats. Nile tourism ranges from fans of swimming and diving to water skiing and surfing on folk voyages and Nile cruisers. Families go with their children for fun. Nile Coast and Mugran Family Park, Ashab and Museum Parks and others for fun and entertainment. On such greenery, people are relieved of cement forests and all restrictions. Parts of Khartoum give way to high buildings, luxurious to the point of richness, compared to that overseas. Hoteling, which makes great strides in footing with international hotels, fostered by affectionate Sudanese warmth. There are numerous fashionable hotels of different degrees and of Arabic architecture. Inside, however, obtain the traditional buildings and touristic resorts containing luxurious restaurants and cafeterias, serving all kinds of foods together with the most fashionable gardens, resorts, and hotels, next to the conference halls and closed halls. Khartoum is now witnessing projects for hotel apartments upon the most modern and integrated services, especially in urban areas next to modern shopping centers. Tourism is supported by good infrastructure. Part of the country is linked to the capital by a wide transport network, together with internal and external air flights through its international airport, which is equipped with halls receiving hundreds of journeys. There exists in the capital the modern techniques of communication and express mail as well as internet cafes and developed banking services to say nothing of touristic services through agencies of travel, tourism and hunting as well as companies of services for limousine cars renting with fleets of famous brands and modern marks. Limousine companies offer services of reception of guests in the airport and hotel guests and their movement inside the country concerned with covering the needs of conferences and visiting delegations. In the old European style, a Suga Lefranji in Khartoum exists 
African exhibits of carving of ebony, leather industries, and African beads. The fun of shopping is best reflected in visiting Souk Umdurman with its popular atmosphere and its special Sudanese nature. Sudan is regarded as one of the ten biggest countries characterized by touristic attractions. Together with infrastructure of tourism and services, besides enacting of laws and easing of procedures, the thing that gives preferential advantages and encouragement of tourism. In spite of all that, one can say that one major purpose of tourism is the Sudanese man himself, with all his values, kindness, generosity, and affability.